hey guys in today's video to help you combat exam stress we are going to talk about one of the shortest words one of the most powerful words no this can be one of the hardest words to say if you're in a stressful situation if you're in pressure to do something to say no can be the hardest thing in the world but it can also be one of the most powerful things in the world. You are asserting your authority over a situation. You are taking back control of a situation. You are putting yourself in charge. And it's gonna take a lot of guts to do this. It's gonna take a lot of confidence and a lot of determination to do this. But every single one of you has it in there somewhere. The power of saying no and then they're dealing with the consequences of saying no. Now, these could be positive consequences, they could be negative consequences. I know at the moment there are lots of time pressures on you. Your friends could be going out, they could be... They probably don't think they're pressuring you, they're calling you up and saying, oh, come out, come out, come out. And you know you've got to sit there and revise, and I want you to say no to going out. Now the positive side of this is that you get more work done which means you will get better grades. The negative side of this is that your friends may not think very highly of you but the power of saying no means that you will see the rewards in the long term. Your work may be asking you to take on extra shifts or saying you know can you come in early and you may say no so you can stay at home and do more work but then you're not going to get paid as much and you might not be able to pick up extra shifts later compared to somebody that just says yes the whole time. You may be under pressure to use unhealthy mechanisms to relax, whether that's engaging in risky behaviour or whether that's taking illegal or illegal things that you know aren't going to be good for you. This can be one of the hardest things to say no to but at this moment in time it is one of the most important things for you to say no to. You're losing the the unhealthy relaxation but you are gaining physical and mental health in the long run and you are gaining that time back which you can put into your studies. People that are engaging in risky unhealthy behaviours at the moment are only going to see negative consequences in the long run for a short term feeling of false relaxation which they are just going to feel bad about later on which may then lead them down a dangerous path of needing to do more and more things whether it's unhealthy risky behaviours or whether it's unhealthy and risky substances this is never going to be good is the path that we really don't want to be going down but it's one of the things that can be hardest to say no to at the moment. The chance for easy relaxing and forgetting about what you're doing is very tempting but please try and resist this because in the long run it is not going to do you any good at all. And then lastly one of the hardest groups of people to say no to maybe people you're in a relationship with. This could be a romantic relationship or it could be a relationship that you have with people at home with your siblings or with your parents. If they ask you to do this or go out somewhere and um, you've got to learn to sometimes say no that there are other priorities on your time at the moment. Now this isn't going to be forever. You can say yep I can't go and play tennis with you at the moment because I have to study or I can't go to cinema with you at the moment because I have to study or I can't do this because I have to study. The power of actually saying no and reclaiming time that people think belongs to them when that time actually belongs to you is really really important. However on the flip side you shouldn't shut yourself away for the entire time and just study, just revise, just plod through hours and hours of work. Social interactions are important but it is a delicate balancing act so we don't want to go too far in either direction. So good luck guys. Um, this is a really really hard time. Um, just remember I'm here with you every single step of the way.